And we're now joined here on the Canon Pro Series Rewind show by your winner of Saturday night's Enios Napa 150 from the Irwindale Speedway, Trevor Huddleston. Trevor, how are you doing today? Hey, I can't complain. Coming off a win, great weekend. You know, it's a great Monday, so uh, thanks for having me on. Yeah, no problem. So so talk to us about the emotions from Saturday night. That was a big night for you on a lot of fronts. You got your first K&N victory at your home track that your family has so much involvement in, and then to have such an exciting finish the way you did with Tanner Gray, There's there was a lot going on there. So just talk us through your emotions there at the checkered flag. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean... Being my first K&N win, it's something special. And uh, to have it at my home track um, with all my friends and family there, I mean, that just adds on to it, you know. Um, being so close, I mean, I had so many relatives and so many close friends and high school friends and all just people from all over the world, you know, came out here. I mean, we had people from France come out here just for this race wow. at Irwindale Speedway. So it just kind of ramped up the intensity and, it just made that moment of crossing the finish line first that much more sweet, you know? Um, I mean, to win in the K&N series is pretty dang hard, you know? So uh, it's a special feeling to uh, be able to be in that caliber of driver. Definitely. So just talk us through your night as a whole. It seemed like uh, for most of the night, you didn't really have the speed to compete with the leaders there. You, I think you were a top five car most of the night. I'm not sure you were ever outside of the top five, but it didn't seem like, at least for most of the night, you had much to compete with those leaders until there at the very end when you led those last seven laps. So what was kind of the difference there at the end for you? Um, you know, I think it was all about tire management. Um, we kind of we played our game knowing that there's 150 laps. You, you don't need to win the first lap or the second lap or even the 149th lap. Haley Deegan proved that um, at Vegas. She led one lap, and it was the lap that counted. So we know we were just kind of letting things play out, you know, trying not to get in any trouble along the way. Um, we had a little bit of mechanical issues um, with the transmission. So um, that kind of played in a role kind of in our hopes of getting to the lead early. But, you know, our car was good in the long runs. So as, as the race went on and the tires kept getting older and older, we knew we were going to be able to jump ahead of the game. So we just kind of had to bite out our time, and uh, one thing led to another, and we found ourselves out front, and we just had to hang on. <laughs> so how much momentum does this give you going forward? You, you do have a full-time ride in that nine car this year for Sunrise Ford, so how much confidence does that give you going forward that you can compete for this championship? I mean tons of confidence uh that dirt that was something else uh props to the people who can uh do that for a living you know that stuff's wicked but uh it was nice to get back on my home as far as asphalt um and get a win under our, our belt and you know it just kind of it makes everyone happy we this was the this was our first race you know this was that first asphalt race and from here on out we're sticking with asphalt so uh I think it gives us plenty of momentum going into Tucson, where we ran decent last year. Um, but now being in the nine car, we got a new crew, um, same crew chief. So um, I'm really looking forward to the rest of the season. I think you're going to see the nine and six up front. Definitely. Well, that would be cool to see. All right. Well, Trevor, Trevor Huddleston, your winner from Saturday night's Enios Napa Auto 150 from Irwindale. Congratulations on the win, man. Thank you for having me on. Really appreciate it.